Today we're going to learn about different diseases and how they affect parts of our bodies. It's like when parts of a machine stop working well and it affects how the whole machine runs. First, let's talk about the heart, which works like a pump in your body. Sometimes it can get sick with something called heart disease. This happens when the blood can't flow through easily because the pathways, called arteries, get clogged. It's like when a hose gets blocked and water can't flow through it properly. Now let's move on to the lungs, which help you breathe. Diseases like asthma make it hard to breathe because the airways in your lungs get smaller and make it feel like you're trying to breathe through a straw. Another lung problem, called chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, which is often caused by smoking, makes it really hard to breathe out. Next is the stomach and the rest of your digestive system, which breaks down the food you eat. Sometimes sores called ulcers can form on the inside of your stomach and they really hurt. There's also a disease called Crohn's disease that makes your stomach and intestines get swollen and sore. Our nervous system, which includes your brain and nerves, can also have problems. Parkinson's disease makes it hard for people to control their movements, so they might shake without wanting to. Another problem, called multiple sclerosis, makes it hard for messages to travel along the nerves, so people might feel weak or have trouble moving. Lastly, there's a disease called diabetes that affects how your body uses sugar for energy. It happens when an organ called the pancreas doesn't make enough of a chemical called insulin, which helps your body use sugar. All these diseases show us how important each part of our body is and how one problem can affect other parts too.